Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. This is a weekly tarot reading session for you Taurus. I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now Taurus. This reading is a weekly reading for you. What can I get for Taurus please? What is the love intuitive message for Taurus? What is ready for them to know and meant for them to know? This is for the Taurus friends out there, okay? Before I start, Taurus, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for being here today. Guest viewers, if you haven't clicked the subscribe button in the bell, please do it now if you are interested and if you are keen. And if you would like to further support my channel, Taurus, all of the details that you need to know is down in the description box below. In there, you're, you will find the details of my Instagram account. Connect with me there, please. The manifestation items or shop or the, the link to go through the uh, manifest manifestation items that we're selling, we're offering, it's down the description box below. Every item comes with a free um, tarot reading session for me and it's free shipping worldwide. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free private reading. And there's a lot of interesting links that we have decided to put down the description box below. For example, how, you know, the Virgo full moon is, um, is coming up soon, February 27. We have blog, what's the Virgo full moon? What's the high level, highlight, highlight of it? What does the energy encourage? And so us, you know, we also created a calendar or a list of the new moon and full moon for 2021. So it's great for manifestation, beginning and release. So there's a lot of tools and information that you can find in the description box below that is posted in our website. So if you're interested, go on and have a read, okay? <clears throat> So in today's reading, Taurus, I will be looking at the, the weekly reading, the weekly love reading. Every week, the weekly reading is focused on love, okay? So in the weekly reading, I'll be looking at the past energy, <clears throat> the blockages, and um, moving on to the current energy, um, the mutual energy between you and your person, and the, the connecting energy between the two of you. And then I will be moving to the future of the connection. I'm going to be looking into the message about the predictive outcome and advice and depending on the message today i'll let you know if there's a need to extend the reading okay so let's start the reading for you taurus let's look at the past situation or past energy for you you've got a king of wands and the ace of pentacles okay in reverse the page of swords and um the strength card in upright position as i was you know chanting and i was shuffling the card i immediately get a message that someone is upset okay it could be you it could be them but some someone, okay, it could be you, it could be them. You are romantically linked, you're in a relationship, you're connecting or you're reconnecting. You are in a situation where you are building, you know, Ace of Pentacles, you know. This is, you know, this is what they expect in you, you know. The King of Wands, the King of Wands is, the King of Wands is looking into the Ace of Pentacles. This is what you expect and this is what they expect. But it turns out to be a missed opportunity. There was a missed opportunity, a disconnection, a miscommunication, a breakup for some of you. But this person is upset because you guys had a missed opportunity. The, there was, this was supposed to be going well. It's golden opportunity, but it was missed. And um, so it was a king of wands. Maybe one of you is aggressive. Maybe one of you is more advanced. You know, it could be you. It could be them that is propelling the connection or the relationship into. Because I feel like a sense of fast approach or jump starting the relationship into something exclusive. Into something that's not ready. And yet someone would like to jump start that into an outcome. So there is a bit of aggressiveness and then and then it resulted to jealousy possessiveness for some of you if you're in a relationship it could be that there was a third party because the other person is quite aggressive it's quite controlling you know look at that the king of wands he is very passionate but he looks very controlling in here and he's not happy that he missed the opportunity so have a fact check it could be it could be there but it's quite fast it's quite aggressive that something here is not yet ready to be born and someone manipulate it and then you guys end up with a clash a bit of power control a bit of ego one thing is for sure page of swords the strength card 
had you waited or they waited or if you have implement, implemented a more diplomatic, mature, and patience, patience is a virtue, this could have worked. So I feel regret, remorse. I feel regret and then it's turning into sadness that you guys didn't work, okay? It's possible that you, you're upset. They're upset because you guys disconnected or break up or you're not okay. And you felt like, or they felt like, it's a waste of time. You know, like you, you've invested something and it's not working and it's not cool that you're investing something. It's not giving you the outcome. So if you look at the scenario, someone is upset or acting this way because it didn't work. One of you is missing the point that I'm upset because we're not together and we want to be together. You know, that's the case in here is that you guys want to be together, but you're not looking into being together. You're not focused on how to be together. You guys are in an energy of focus on what didn't work, you know, on the missed opportunity. What else could we save? What else could we rebuild? Okay. In the current energy, I see you thinking. You know, you, Taurus, the judgment card, you're thinking, you're thinking of, you're thinking, you're reminiscing, you're looking at the past and you're looking at what you can salvage, what can you do to make a change. You're thinking, you're open, judgment card. You're talking, you're open. For some of you, you have unblocked them. For some of you, you're preparing your thoughts. You are, you are in a hermit card or a hermit mode. You're going, you're going through within, you're going through an internal process. The way you process the situation in the past is that you are absorbing it internally, you're chewing it, you're digesting it, and then you're going to make some noise. You're going to, you're going to deliver, you will know what you want. I like your strategy because you're going to be quiet. You're not going to have a lot of, you know, a lot of talk, a lot of conversation. You're going to be putting yourself in isolation or you're going to think thoroughly and then after having a careful thought then you will make a judgment you know judgment card in upright position then you feel confident about your judgment because you thought of it carefully whether to stay wait for them to follow up to call back to text back to reply to respond but whatever decision you are because i see you in a decision making mode thinking mode the 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 inspiration the cost of why you are in here is to think whether how you and this person could make it up with this missed opportunity one thing is for sure in here it's a missed opportunity and that's what you need to focus or you're focusing that this is a missed opportunity why did i miss the opportunity because i acted this way or i said this way or maybe the, them and that but Sitting in the hermit code, hermit code, sitting in the hermit mode, hermit is all about wisdom. So it's not blaming. It's not the hermit card or energy. It's about learning the wisdom, learning what went wrong and correcting it. So it doesn't matter whether it's your fault or their fault, but it's picking up how to make it work. For some of you, it will take a while. For some of you, you could be ready very soon because you've got a judgment card. But the way I feel the readiness is that, you know, it's so easy for you to make an action. It's so easy for you to follow up, to text back or to connect. But make sure that the healing, you know, because for some of you, there could be a third party. For some of you, it's their, it's their fault. For some of you, it's your person's fault totally. They fuck up. They hurt you. They betray you. But part of you is looking into a missed opportunity. And when you look into a missed opportunity, part of you is thinking, could this be saved? Could this be forgiven? Could this be reunited? Could this be fixed? Um, so that you're thinking, you're 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 in a thinking mind, you know. So make sure that when you do the action, when you reply, when you respond, when you do an energy out towards your person, make sure that that's what you really want. Make sure that you're ready. Make sure that when you do that, there's no more, you know, blame game or I see that you're no longer gonna re refer it to the pain the hurt that makes you yell or that makes you say say this in, in short refresh your person your person's energy is contemplation this is the last card from the past and then the current energy they've got the magician card the three of pentacles they don't know how to start um 
the strength card there's for for your person it seems to be there's so much damage for some of you um because your person's um the last card in the past is the strength card and this is your person's energy for them it will take a while for you and them to set aside ego to heal to forgive that's why all of their cards is magician card in reverse the three of pentacles um the hangman is in reverse and the eight of pentacles they're not <clears throat> your your energy is complementary your person is not quite ready to call you to text you to reach out or to talk about the breakup or to talk about reconciliation because they don't know where to start there's still some damage to be you know if something is damaged in order to repair it you need to examine the damage this is what they're doing okay this is the monster this is the damage this is your person your person as a as a person they could easily forget forgive but they need to process what's the damage so your person is in the process of looking at the damage looking at what can it be saved from past to current into the immediate future they are not gonna use the same strategy or technique that costs you and them to lose this connection so in the immediate future two of swords the queen of pentacles i see you drifting away i see a new cycle two of swords the queen of pentacles you're smart and you're very practical that yep you're thinking what causes me and this person to hurt or to betray each other or maybe them or you but you're thinking of the missed opportunity the cost the hurt the pain you're thinking you're examining it in a smart way you're drifting away from this person queen of pentacles they're not showing care to you they're not calling you they're not texting you and so you are the important thing about you is that you know your mistake or you know their mistake or you know how to fix it but you won't move until such time that um judgment card that they're ready to you are following your intuition in 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 a very structured way i like your energy i really like your energy i don't think you're playing safe it's just that you're practical you're practical and waiting and you're practical you're waiting you're open and um if they call you they text you you will be accountable of your mistake you will be open to accepting the mistake and understanding the mistake two of swords but you won't be desperate your person is still in the damage control is still in the in in the process of examining the damage your person is quite behind versus you because you started the good thing you started out with checking on why there was a missed opportunity your person they're just starting to realize that they have fault, they have issues, they have error, that they've just discovered a missed opportunity. The missed opportunity led them to what's the damage, how damaged it is. You, you already know the damage and you are progressively know how to fix the damage. So in the predictive outcome and advice, I see you guys starting a new cycle. Okay, I see around the month of April, March and April a possible reconnection, um, a possible talk, um, but it's not as ready as you think because you're, you're, you're more advanced than they are. So patience, okay, patience, okay. Some people make mistakes and they don't understand yet the consequences. So there's a process, system, and it's 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 no point blaming or explaining the mistake to a person because they have their own way of processing their mistake processing their issue so you could be advanced because you you know yourself well versus your person so it really it's what i'm getting in here it's really respecting the time frame the timeline and really figuring out that there is a missed opportunity and what else could you say i see you guys in the, in the nearest immediate future predictive outcome is a new cycle. I see you being open to dating a new person. Your person, they won't switch to dating or exploring new love because they're still figuring out the damage. It has affected them a lot. You know, your, your person is affected and sad about the damage of separation or disconnection. About, or as simple as you guys are not talking and they're sad about that. 
So there's that, I see you being okay. Not totally friends yet. Because if you're friends, you know, you could bridge this to romantic. But it's 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 okay and casual. That's the next step I, I'm seeing in here. You could, you could be more open to friends again. But your person is still into a shaky ground. Okay? So realistically, this is, I feel like, into to be what's going to happen from now onwards. There's the processing. Hopefully, this re... re um, Re it res resonate with you and that and it helps you with your worries and concerns so relax take your time if you can't wait for this person manifest new love what's important that, that what's important it you is that you feel what is right for you you know what's right for you and that you respect the boundary you learn you you've got some learning into this missed opportunity and every learning it you know it brings you closer to adapting or wearing the right behavior the right mat maturity emotional and mental maturity to accommodate or to handle love relationship dating or getting to know okay thank you guys i'll see you soon bye bye